It looks like it'll just be Carolina ball on the baseline with four on the shot clock. Lob into the paint. It's a turnover, and here comes Barnes on the breakaway, and that's a pretty good first shot attempt for the Noel. Now you see, three years later, he is a point forward making beautiful finds across court to Malik, who's able to knock down the three. After him getting off to a very good start, we have to keep an eye on that as this game moves forward because he's a very important piece to what the Seminoles do. Walker, the alley-oop. Coach Ravitsa with the dunk. Opportunity for Georgia Tech or Duke to do a, have an opportunity to solidify themselves on that board. And yeah, the Yellow Jackets improved to 13 and eight with their win over Syracuse. And having to exit the game, and that hurts North Carolina, not only now in this first half, but takes away his aggressiveness in the second half. Making some noise as the Tar Heels are back to within six. Walton feeds Kessler, who draws a crowd, steps around and throws it down. But still, with two weeks, two weeks remaining, a lot of basketball left to be played in ACC. Walton, nothing but net. Love attacks, hangs in the air, misses the shot. Barnes clears the rebound for FSU. No look, underneath, and the layup. Tied at 46. State led in the first half by as many as 16 points. And another takeaway on the run to the bucket. Layup missed. Baycock hustling and fighting for two more. And all the great players that North Carolina has had wearing this uniform with the Argyle up and down the side. I'm not sure they've ever had a seven further that can go off the dribble to the rim. Was, but I'm not sure if Caleb got any basketball on that one. It can be interesting to see that. Oh, wait a minute. Mondo doesn't want us to see that. He wants us to see him. Carolina has made its last 14 free throws. It's back to an eight-point lead. Gray banks it in. Five seconds. MJ Walker. And that'll do it. A signature victory for Coach Williams, number 900 in his Hall of Fame career.